Hi guys, welcome to this week's What's on the Desk update. Um, the internet's been down the last couple of days, so I'm not sure when this is going to get out. Um, personal stuff, nothing done this week. I did work out how many points of Space Wolves I had though. I have just below a thousand points and that's with um, at the Land Raider Crusader, Unit 10 Wolf Guard. No, that's not right. Grey Hunters. Five man unit of Wolf Guard Terminators, uh, a Ruin Priest, and then uh, a Ruin Priest and Terminator armor. So that's basically all I have. I didn't go into weapons or anything like that, and it was coming up just below a thousand points. So I'll dig all that out, get it repaired up, start painting it again once I get through some more tow. So this week I I finished nearly all of the cricks bar terminus right? and terminus has been an absolute pain because um, I actually have marines here for scale this time okay so that's the size of a marine and this whole model is metal so you can imagine how heavy it is and every time I was trying to paint them and I'm like moving them around my hand is cramping up because he's so so um, heavy so I have I painted the wings up to be like a, a leathery brown kind of colour uh, client didn't want them too dark. I've painted the silver and gold. I'm just waiting for it to, to glaze. Like I used glaze medium. I think it was uh, Idik Beer. Nick uh, gave me that tip years ago. So I've been using that ever since. So I don't want to put the wash on until I'm sure that stuff is dry. Because otherwise it will just blend together and ruin it. What I've done. So that's, um, that's the last Crix model. I have finished the Wraith engine. Let's move this back. Used the uh, cotton wool again. Starting to like using it for different effects. It's just kind of make it look um, not celestial but like ghostly because it's a he's meant to be like a, a, a giant ghost machine. And there's a bit of a glow underneath him there in his rib cage, but he's just like blocking his face from bullets or he's like what's up? I'm not really sure which it is yet, but uh, you can decide yourself. He's done. I have based all the cricks that was painted. It's all done now. Finish this, the Texas Raiders, um, everything. I have Gorshade on his horse. He's all done. Airbrushed up the cloak, no brush work there. I have Asphyxious Tree is done. Fire Cape again to kind of match the Asphyxious 2 model I painted. I have Venetrax as well. He's done. And then these Soul Trapper guys, they're pretty cool models. Um, just painted up to have the green glow like Venetrax because souls are kind of a greeny thing in Cricks. They're done. I'm not going to show you all just the Texas because there's loads of them and these things keep breaking off because they've really small contact points. Um, and this is Asphyxious is like standard bearer guy that goes with them. I've I literally only based these guys so I have to Trim it all down once the PVA is dry and paint the black base rims. I finished the Faro battle engine, the meat thresher. This stuff here is water effects, it'll dry clear, but it's meant to be a swamp base, so I done a uh, black. While it was wet, I kind of blended in some brown and then I put some greens on the top just to make it look swampy. And then it has rules in the back that it like churns up rules in the back. It has rules in the game that it churns up dust behind it and it kind of gives uh, concealment and like cloud effect kind of things. So, cotton wool again, really coming in handy. I'll do spin arounds for all these models before I send them back. This will be a minute or two videos. Um, in here is actual little pigs and the idea is it's like all hot in there and the pigs run and that's what makes it go, which is really cool. And they have like, um, just here there's like a bellows thing, so it's like pumping the air in to keep the fire going. So that's him. And this cool little gun. I um, rusted up and weathered and all like the the cracking was. Really enjoying doing that kind of stuff in the bigger pieces. I think it's fun. So that's um, that's that stuff. So that's that nearly that whole commission done. All that's left for it is terminus. And I built a magnetized Victor. A uh, serious problem. 
uh, this is his top gun and um, when I was priming it I primed it with all the stuff off. well I actually primed it with this piece on all the rest of the stuff was off because it's magnetised so you can swap them out um, but what I done was I'll just move them out of the way this is a can of uh, matte varnish so because it's all magnetised I just stuck it all on it was grand I had this gun sitting up here thinking happy days you'll be fine hit it with the primer and blew it straight out the window I was like oh my god and because I live in an apartment, it's a, it's like a two story kind of apartment and they're spraying upstairs. The, there's like pipes and stuff down the wall and whatever. Like electrical cabling and all that kind of crack. I don't really know what it is, I'm afraid to touch it. But uh, I could hear this hit that stuff and I was like, ah oh, Jesus, no, 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 no. And then about a second later there was this, this horrific soul destroying crack of plastic hitting concrete. So I had to run upstairs, from upstairs down to the downstairs of the apartment, out the door, to the downstairs again to go outside and run around in my slippers and my pyjamas with a torch on my phone trying to find. Um, this, this piece here is all one bit, this piece on the top is one bit and then there's these two bits, well that's actually two bits but uh, they stay together, and these two bits. So this bit and this bit came off of this and this bit was like away somewhere in a drain took me ages to find it but I got it in the end so he's all magnetised up and ready to go there you go, you can see his gun on there but uh, I'm going to start painting him now before I go to work just get the airbrush layers down, I can do the metallics then tonight okay so to go with the Contemptor Dreadnoughts that I'm working on, I don't think I, I I think I showed these before. Okay, guys, sorry about that there. The card is full again. Um, these are the contemptors I'm working on. I haven't really done much of them because I'm trying to clear out the other commissions so I can just focus on them. So I four them, um, and this is for the Sons of Medusa Battle Company. So I have a Venerable Dreadnought. I'm going to magnetize the, the weapon option, so I'm just going to cut these tabs off and put the magnets on there. All his weapons are built to be magnetized. Um, this is. What came in the post was two Venerable Dreadnought kits and then two of the Space Marine Star Collecting sets. So uh, th this guy is actually pretty cool. Pretty cool kind of captain model. So in Terminator armor obviously. What I was thinking of doing was getting into the Space Wolves, picking up maybe one or two of them because I have enough bits left over that I could, from the Battle Force, that I could just, you know, Space Wolfify all of the, the stuff in the kit. So I have the Venerable Dreadnought built, the Captain built, I have 10 Marines, just kind of made them as different as I could. This guy has no head or arms because we're giving him a heavy bolter, so for the Tactical Squad I have, this is going to be the layout here now, Sergeant has a Combi Plaz and a Chainsword. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bolters, one heavy bolter, and then the plasma gun. But uh, for this guy, instead of doing the thing where he's like shooting away and shielding his eyes, he's petting his gun. He's like, "Yes, thank you for not exploding." So that's the idea behind him there. But um, I have them built. I'm not going to bother priming them until I build the rest of the Space Marine stuff as well, and just I can just blitz it all together then with one airbrush. Uh, you know, one airbrush attempt, and as one set's dry, I can work on the contemptors. When the washers are drying on the contemptors, I can go back to the marines. That's the plan. Uh, so that's them. Then, for the other kid or part of the commission I'm doing with the cricks, I have. Two Warcaster units. I have Strakov 2 and Zerkova 2. So, Zerkova 2 and Strakov 2. I'm just going to zoom in for you. A wee bit. Okay, that's not really going to work. Drop the camera down. Um, these are for the other Kador that I was painting a couple of months ago. So, I'm going to zoom out. I'm just bringing them up to the camera for you. So here's Zerkova. That's Homer. 
And she's two guards with her. I got really brave. I started doing little scratches and stuff in the armor with a, a detail brush just to, you know, make it look not so clean. I didn't put any scratches on her armor because I imagine these guys are too busy taking all the damage for her. That's them. Then I have scr scrack off, strack off, and uh, the client wanted a muddy and like battle damage because he's like a a commando kind of guy. So you can see the browns and all the scratches and stuff in there. He's a pretty cool Tommy gun. And he's an eye patch as well, thinks he's Nick Fury. There's one of his guards. Same again, all scratched up. And then finally the last guard. So that's them done. And then in the background over here you can see all of the other K-Door. So I drew them all into the case there because the, the better half was given out about state of the table and I was having a problem with uh, sourcing gloss spray varnish because I don't want to be running gloss varnish through the airbrush and like destroying it. So my closest hobby shop is like an hour and a half drives away and I don't don't have the time to just drive up to pick up excuse me a can of aerosol. So I tried buying some from the likes of Element Games and Firestorm but they can't ship it over for postage reasons obviously because it's an aerosol and whatever. So what I done was I went to Halfords and because I seen, who was it? I think it was actually Kenny Boucher, Next Level Painting, he was using Tester's lacquer as a, a sealant on his model. So I said, well sure, surely lacquer like that, like I know Tester's is obviously artist grade, um, or the one he was using was artist grade, but I thought that Halfords would have uh, a lacquer. So I went out and uh, picked up primer, but I got Halfords clear lacquer. I said, I'll try it on one of my own models. I'll see how it goes, and if it doesn't destroy it or frost up rotten, I'll know I can use it then. Because for um, for these models over here, the client wanted oh, my lights like dipped. The client wanted them to be glossed to match the the stuff he already had. So you can see there, you can kind of see the shine now. The stuff coming through the window. It worked out really well. But what I done first was I. Gloss varnished them twice, or well, I lacquered them twice upstairs out the window, and then I put the snow base down. So the snow, I didn't know what way it'd react with the snow. Um, I was trying to be careful. I'll show you on a bigger model. And like, it went on pretty well. I was actually surprised that there was no hassles with it. So you can see there the shine on it. So it's all done. Um, I have to paint the red. See these like raised tabs to paint the red on them just to finish the arc. And um that's the K door bit of that done. I'm after sealing um conquest upstairs for this part of the commission. He has to just get a snow and paint it red and then they can all be sent back as well. So uh probably by next week I'll have Terminus finished, Victor Conquest kit will be finished. And I think that's it's on to Space Marines then, I'll be building a lot of Space Marines. So, uh, thanks for watching guys, sorry the videos haven't been as quick this week, it's just the internet's down and whatnot. But, um, I'll, uh, I'll have the spin arounds done and upload them over the next couple of weeks so you can have a look at them then. But cheers for watching, and if you haven't already, please do like and subscribe, because it keeps me going. Uh, I got two new subscribers that week and I was like, yeah, you know, two subscribers, some people that's nothing, but... I've kind of stalemated there for a couple of months. I got one subscriber a couple of weeks ago, and now I think I'm up to 165, which is, I think it's decent enough for me. You know, all I'm doing at the minute is just showing people what I'm painting, and um, talking about some of my Tao stuff, and that's it. Like, so I'm pretty happy with myself. So thanks, and hello to the new subscribers. But that's it. I'm gonna go stop rambling, and we'll see you next week.